Good evening, everyone. This is Lindsay from Unique Baby Boutique. This is going to be my second tutorial on Sew so What Pro. Tonight, we're going to be doing a tutorial on how to merge designs. I am going to be merging a number three and the Hulk. This is going to be a sweet, easy, quick, di quick design tutorial on Sew so What Pro. I love Sew so What Pro because it's easy to use and it's very cost effective. And if you're starting out, it's honestly the perfect program for you. So first thing you're going to do is you're going to open up Sew so Up Pro and then you're going to either do file open or press this button right here. Now the two designs that I'm going to be doing today I think I mentioned are the number three and the Hulk. So first I'm going to click the number three because when you merge designs you can either have them like sitting next to each other or one on top of the other. So when it embroiders, I like the, the say you're doing a number and a theme or a character or something like that. I always like the, the number to be set behind the, the other design. So we're going to set the number three first because that is going to be our first, our behind design. So as you can see, we need to make this a little bit bigger. So we're going to do tools and we're going to resize the pattern. So you can either do control R or do it the other way. I personally like to not use the keys. I just think it's easier for me not to, but so I'm going to try 125. So the percentages work basically like if you want it to be larger than what it is, you want to type a number above 100. If you want it to be smaller than what it is, you want to type a number below 100. So I'm going to try 125 and see how that works. It's a, just a tad bit too big. So I don't really like to resize using the squares because I know it messes with the density. So I am going to just do it. If it's just a little bit, I don't see what the big deal is. I've never had a problem really that much. Then my next design we're going to add is going to be the Hulk. Now remember I mentioned merging. Merging is when you take an, one design and add it to the other design. So you're basically making one embroidery file. So you're going to do File, Merge, and then I'm going to do the Hulk. Now just by looking at this, I already know it's going to be too big. So we're going to have to resize it. So it's going to be tools, resize pattern. And remember what I said, if you want it to be above the size that it is, you want to type in a number above 100. If you want it to be below the size that it is, you want to type in a number below 100. Now he's pretty big, so I'm probably going to say mm, 65. You want to make him 65% smaller. So that's that's too small. So I am going to resize one more time. And I am going to type in, let's do 115. Let's see what happens. Okay, so that's pretty much perfect, actually. So right here you can see how the three is here. And then when I move the Hulk over, you can see that, that the Hulk is on top of the three. So the next thing I'm going to do is center the design. So as you can tell, it's not centered. There's a whole bunch of room. There's not enough room over here, and there's a whole bunch of room over here. So to center, you press Control, hold down the Control key, and then you're going to select your designs. So there's two ways you can do this. You can line up the squares to the center line which is there's two accesses here and here so if you can tell that the squares are on all four accesses that's how you know it's it's centered or there's this fun little button right here which is the center of the pattern in the middle of the hoop <coughs> excuse me did you see how i did that so you can either do it manually or you can press this fun button right here boop does it automatically for you so now it's even on both sides. So the last thing I'm going to do is I'm going to adjust the density. So by density, I mean the thickness of the satin stitch or the closeness together of the satin stitch. So 
we're going to, in, the, in my previous video, I adjusted the density. This is honestly something I do it literally in every single design that I make. I think that makes the designs look nicer if the, if the satin stitch is thicker. So I am just going to select both of them. Remember, you do control and then you hold down your mouse or your click, your click bar on your laptop. Then this is right here where it says adjust density. So the pull compensation is going to be how wide the satin stitch is. So right now it's not set to anything because it's this is just a standard design. However the designer made the made it, this is what it is. And the density adjustment is going to be how close the stitches are together. So I always as you can tell, these are the general things that I pump it up. So I'm going to do three, and then I'll probably just do, you know, 1.8 and see how it looks. So it turned out great. So I don't know if you can tell the difference. We'll go to edit. So you see the way it looks now? Undo. We're going to do edit. Redo. See? See, see how much more dense it is? I'm actually going to move this slow guy down a little bit. All right. So, you guys, if you followed along with this video or you took notes, you just merged and sew up pro. Go you. So, I just wanted to say thank you again for watching my videos. If you have any other suggestions, please just let me know. And I love all the positive comments. Thank you so much. It's amazing to hear. I love to make these videos. It's fun. It's, um, you know, an, an outlet, basically. So, um, thank you and hope you guys enjoyed.